Dave from the Redneck Garage. Well, I'm putting a few tools away before we get started on the Jeep. If you watched the last video, you saw that we got the carpet in. Now I'm working on the console. It was all kind of messed up. I got a new top for it because the grain was all just smoothed over from the old one. Um, going to be working on some cup holder things. A lot of different stuff. So let's get started getting the console put in before we can put our seats in. A lot easier to get the console in with all the seats out because you can't really adjust the console. It's going to go where it's going to go. But the seats, you can kind of adjust a little bit back and forth. So we're going to go ahead and put the console in and then the seats. All right, here's a before picture of the console. That's where the seat was rubbing across. I'm not going to stop that, so we're not going to worry about it. Um, there's some scuffing on it. We're going to do a little sanding, um, some pressure washing, some scrubbing down, <clears throat> getting all the gross junk off of it. And then we'll go from there. Hopefully this thing will look much better, almost new, when we're finished with it. But you can see there's schmegma down in there. I don't know what that is. Mold, grease. Ew. We're going to get cleaned up. Okay, so I took some 150 wet or dry and scuffed up the really bad spots. Pressure washed the crap out of it. Looking good. We just let her dry and we should be able to shoot some paint after we mask off a couple little things. Spraying a little color bond adhesion promoter. Once the vinyl paint dries, you can kind of see that it's kind of a dull finish. It's a, almost flat, maybe a little bit of sheen. And I take the Color Bond Satin Clear and I'll give it a good probably couple coats because this is a wear item. And the sheen is like a factory sheen. So let's spray this on real quick. All right, I'll let it dry for a little bit and then I'll give it a second coat and we're done. Now here's the switch plate um, for the airbag. I can't really paint this because it's got the letters on it, you know, just some, like some black nondescript thing up there. But we can shoot the low satin clear on it and it will make it look a lot better um, right off the bat. But just using the clear on it, you can see that it looks freaking brand new. So that's awesome. That's ready to go back on. Jennifer's making a photo booth for a Christian, my oldest wedding, the one that blew the head gasket on the uh, Cherokee, that Christian. Hi, baby. Hi. So, I had to cut the holes out. I had to use my expertise in woodworking, and you're going to stand in it and get your picture taken. But the goal is to have the Jeep ready to go to drive where, honey? Where do we want to drive the Jeep? To the wedding. Where? To the wedding. Where? Right, so we want to drive this Jeep to the wedding, so that means I've got a week to finish all this other little crap up, get it over to the alignment shop. Emissions, ah, who cares? I'm going to take the plate off the other Jeep. So that's the goal. So the console looks like a freaking new one. I don't know if I'm going to keep that shifter knob on or a different one. Finishing up on the console, and from the factory it had like two rubber inserts that went here on the bottom. And I think it looks stupid without them, so I'm going to try to manufacture some because... The factory part number is almost impossible to find, and they're like really expensive if you could find them. So I'm going to see if I can fabricate something that looks like, looks good. Alright, so to make the hole exactly the size I want, I bought a Milwaukee adjustable hole cutter, and we're going to see how this works. And I bought this rubber mat, which looks pretty cool. I think with, uh, if I can cut a nice smooth hole, it'll look nice down in the cup holder. And yes, I know this is anal, but... You know, what the heck. I may start selling these on eBay if it looks nice. This turned out really nice. I'm super happy with that. So, got my inserts. Anal, yes. Good looking, yes. You can see where it's clear coated on the uh, airbag thing. Looks brand new. 
I redid this the well heck I redid everything on it so it looks great uh, got it all buttoned down ready to go all right the console came out freaking awesome the only thing I'm missing is the rubber boot that goes over the shifter and I actually bought one and I cannot find it anywhere I've looked storage building garage outside the storage building everywhere and that thing's gotten legs and it walked away and I, it drove me insane I spent half a day looking yesterday I never did find it so I've ordered another one it should be in Monday um, but other than that it looks freaking awesome all right so I got the rubber boot I have already had the sleeve put that on and I put my factory shifter on which is a Mopar shifter and that looks mighty fine dang that looks nice so now that I got the boot on and the shifter and everything you can see that as far as shifting it it's in the correct position because of the rough country kit that goes on it so I'm really super happy with that it looks brand new um, that's gonna be it put a fork in that all right now that I got the console done I can go ahead and get started on the seats getting them put in getting everything uh, finished with that getting closer on the inside David from Redneck Garage key turning wrenches <laughs>